So we're doing the morning routine here at Sweet Pea Farm. Here's Willie, who's waiting for his breakfast. And for people who live in Florida, they know how <clears throat> challenging it can be um, between the alligators across the street, sitting in the street, and five foot snakes on your front porch. And then we have, if you don't like spiders, you don't want to watch this video. We have these large, where did they go? Banana spiders. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. See that big blob up there? Uh, everywhere. Um, <clears throat> I'm in the process of letting the girls and boys out of their pens this morning which need to be redone shortly as the little temporary fencing is falling down. But every day we have these humongoid webs everywhere, right above my head. I don't know if you can see it. See that big blob up there? Right there. Um, and these spiders are big. And I'm going to take you over to a few of the webs here that are a little closer to ground level and see how close I can get. And perhaps maybe you can see. Um, these spiders are very large and they do have fangs and they do bite. Um, they are the golden silk spider, and their webs are a beautiful golden color, and the thread is actually collected um, to make uh, fabric. But personally, they creep me out, and um, they're just a little too big for my liking. And you can see right here one of them. So, let's see if we can catch the And right here, you can see, let's see if I can get the phone to zoom in. No, it's not zooming in, but it's big enough, too big for my liking. So I have to walk around the chickens and any part of the back property with, these spiders are everywhere. Um, I leave them above the chickens because they do eat insects and we do have a mosquito problem uh, in Florida, so um, it's a kind of a uh, combined, a mutual agreement. <laughs> I leave them alone and they leave me alone.